Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Bloody Maria's with smoked beef jerky. A smoked beef jerky is a fantastic snack, but it's also a fantastic garnish for a cocktail like the one we're gonna make today. Now we're making Bloody Maria's, which is a play on the Bloody Mary, that classic tomato-based cocktail with vodka in it. But today we're switching up the seasoning a bit on the tomato base and we're swapping out the vodka for mezcal, or you could use tequila. They're both agave-based spirits, but the mezcal we're using today is nice and smoky due to the fact that that agave is grilled over mesquite wood before it's distilled. Anyway, lots of great flavor here. We got a few hours of smoking ahead of us for this beef jerky, so let's jump in there. The beef we're using for our beef jerky today is from the cut Eye of Round, and this is a nice prime cut from Creekstone Farms. Um, this is a great cut for doing beef jerky. The only thing I really like to do to this uh, before we get into slicing it is first of all, I'll throw it in the freezer for about an hour or so. You can see how this is like half frozen, but still a little soft. It just makes it easier um, to slice it. And the other thing I like to do is just to take the fat off the surface. Um, this is one of those situations where that fat on the surface is going to be uh, more harm than good when you're doing beef jerky because it gets kind of funky once it sits around. So we'll just keep it kind of lean. Um, if you got a little bit on there, it's not a big deal at all. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of intramuscular fat as well. Um, but I don't like the big chunks of it around the edges, so I'll take that off. Now, hands down, my favorite way to slice beef for beef jerky is on a deli slicer. I'll set it right at the number three which is gonna give us about an eighth of an inch slice. So that's what you get. And then typically I'll split these right down the middle into strips. But first we're gonna get them all sliced. Now I'm just gonna lay these out so I can slice them into strips like I was talking about. Get a little stack of them go right down the center. And now those are ready to go into our marinade. We're gonna soak our beef jerky in our Sweetwater Spice Trace Chilies. This is an apple juice based concentrate. Uh, so it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's also got a lot of savory stuff going on uh, with the onion and garlic. And then of course the chilies, some ancho, chipotle, cayenne, paprika. We need equal parts water and concentrate. I'm gonna rinse this jar out so we get all of that. And then I'm gonna spice it up just a little bit and you can do this to your liking. Either leave the hot sauce out or pump it up, but we're gonna use the Heat Mavericks Anti-Gravity Scorpion, which is a spicy hot sauce. And I'm gonna go for about two tablespoons. We'll just give that a little mix and then we can start throwing our beef jerky in here. And then make sure that as you load up the two pounds of beef that you've got in here that you're separating those slices out so they get full exposure to this brine marinade combination. So even though our beef is sliced very thin and that marinade can penetrate pretty quickly, uh, we want to let this soak overnight so that it almost starts to change the texture to give us that beef jerky texture that we're looking for in the end. So let's throw our plate in here to lock it in, keep everything submerged, and then throw it in the fridge overnight. I've got a batch of jerky that I started last night, so we're gonna pull that out of the marinade now and get it seasoned up. So we're just gonna fish these strips out one at a time, load them onto our jerky rack. For now, over the pan, they won't stay over the pan while they smoke, uh, but now just to catch uh, any excess marinade that's coming off. We're just going to put it over this pan and you can really just fill these racks up and then stack them one on top of the other and they're going to smoke and dry out just fine like that. So that marinade's done some tenderizing as well as some flavoring. You got the hot sauce in there that's going to kind of kick this up, give us a little bit of heat on this batch of beef jerky. Last couple of strips here. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and get these seasoned up. Now, since we're going with kind of Latin flavors, we're going to be using the Cattleman's Grill Mexicano seasoning here. This is my favorite taco seasoning. 
that I was able to help design for Cattleman's. We don't need a ton of seasoning because it already has that marinade on it. And we're gonna leave a little bit of that on the surface. So there's great flavor, a little bit of sweetness in that marinade as well that you wouldn't get unless you were using like a sweeter barbecue rub. There's certainly no sugar in the Mexicano. So a light dusting, I'm just gonna do one side. That'll be plenty. And then these are gonna be ready to go onto the smoker. But today we're smoking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. It's running at 200 degrees with hickory pellets. But we're gonna leave these stacked just like they are without that bottom pan. We'll put them up here on the second shelf. So there's enough air, air in between each of these that the smoke can kind of dry it all out gently at this low temperature over the next two to three hours. This is one hour into the process. You can see we're already starting to get this drying out a little bit. Uh, I just want to rotate these racks so that we make sure everything's kind of going evenly. That way they finish in as close to the same time as possible. Go ahead and spin it this way while we're at it. All right, I'm gonna set another one hour timer. We'll come back to check on it then. We're about two and a half hours into the smoke now, and this is kind of about what we're aiming for as far as doneness goes. You're just gonna to have to do this by feel, but the beef should be dried out, but it shouldn't be crunchy. It should still have some movement to it, still have some chew to it. So some of these pieces around the edge, those are the ones that are gonna get done first. We can start to take those off. Some of these thicker pieces, maybe in the middle. See, that one's far too floppy. We're not there yet on that one. So what I'm gonna do here is over the next half hour, 45 minutes, we're gonna keep an eye on these. I'm gonna pull off what I look, think looks done. And then once we've got all of these off, we can go ahead and put together our Bloody Maria's. Now that our beef jerky is all smoked, we're ready to put together this cocktail. We're gonna start off with our tomatoes. We're using San Marzano canned tomatoes, about 29 ounce can, I think it is. We're gonna add to that a little bit of our Latin flair now. So we're doing, uh, it's about one chipotle in adobo and an extra tablespoon of that adobo sauce that it comes in. I also wanna do a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. This is a new one that we just got in. It's a, got a little extra heat to it. And speaking of heat, we're also gonna do a little smoking ghost ketchup from Hoff and pepper. Add a little smoky sweetness. Need a little pickle juice in here too. This is a, also a little bit spicy. I might see a theme here. I like my, my Bloody Maria's with a little kick. And we've also got some lime juice here. I'm gonna aim for about three tablespoons. So that's that's probably one, one big lime is gonna cover that. And then finally, just a tablespoon of prepared horseradish. Get a little taste here. Oh, it's so bright, but it's also got that earthy little bit of spiciness to it from the chipotle. The one thing we haven't added is any salt, <clears throat> and it could use just a little bit of that. We're actually going to rim the glasses with our brisket rub today, the Cattleman's Lone Star. So we might as well throw a little bit into our mix here. That'll cover salt, pepper, garlic. Oh. We're going to do some, uh, some of our brisket rub on the rims here of the glasses. We'll just hit this with a little lime juice first. Okay, let's get some ice cubes in here. We're gonna start with our mezcal or tequila, whatever you prefer. I'm no bartender, but I'm gonna say that's about an ounce and a half to two ounces. And then we'll top it off with our Bloody Maria mix.
give that a little mix. And then we've got our garnishes. So we get a little lime on there. Do a little beef jerky and cucumber. And then let's toothpick. We got some feta stuffed, hot peppers right on top. Throw some pickles on there if you like, but I'm gonna call that good. I think I went a little too hard. Here we go, salud. Mmm. That's some smoky goodness right there. Tasting that smoke from the mezcal for sure. And then that, you know what it needs? Because the flavor is spot on, but I want it to hurt a little. Let's get some hot sauce. A little bit of that anti-gravity scorpion that went into the beef jerky mix. Oh yeah. It hurts so good. Oh yeah. Beef jerky. Mmm. Now this one's got some heat that'll creep on you too. And it's hard to stop eating it, so your mouth's gonna be on fire pretty soon. Embrace it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. It's hot. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.